So basically, I'm, I'm going to describe now uh, briefly the, the differences between passive electronics and active electronics. Um, I'm going to show you these examples on, on basses. It can be applied to guitars. It's the same principle. Uh, typically, you'd find, say, an active system on an acoustic guitar or acoustic electric guitar. It just means there's a preamp built into it. So there's a whole circuit dedicated to the, to the preamp. Um, it requires a battery. Uh, if you put that into a, an electric guitar or bass, you're going to be dealing with um, higher output pickups because now you have an actual onboard system powering those pickups. Um, so I have two examples. We have our 70s precision bass, passive electronics. Uh, when you when you plug into an amplifier, you're now using it's all the amp uh, that, that's taking care of the the output of the guitar. I'm gonna switch to an active bass. You can see on the back of this alembic. Well, this is the co the control area for your volume and tone and all the switching. This would be the battery compartment here. That's where the circuit is for the, the active preamp. This is the same volume setting, same EQ setting as the, we had for the P-Bass. basically hearing hotter pickups, you're hearing uh, higher highs, lower lows, everything's amplified before it gets to the amp. That's the, that's the preamp. Um, you'll notice when, when, you're, when your battery needs changing, it'll start to fuzz out, it won't be quite as loud, um, it won't sound as tight. The whole purpose of that is to have a, a tighter, louder sound, um, which is why you would go for an active system in a, in a, in a bass or a guitar.